I'm making this video because I had question about the charge controller I use with my washing machine hydroelectric generator. And I wanted to clarify why a washing machine motor is the best type of generator you can use in terms of price, quality and reliability. Here is a diagram of the wiring. The motor is connected to a bridge rectifier, switching 3-phase AC to DC current. At the output of the bridge rectifier, I'm getting 450 volts open, meaning when there is no load. The DC output is wired to the SMPS, switch mode power supply. The SMPS is working with wide voltage rating. According to AI, an SMPS works with 400 volt DC because main AC is first rectified and filtered creating a high voltage DC bus. The input capacitor is rated 400 to 450 volts to handle this plus surge. But it gives us a warning. Feeding a full 450 volt DC is right at the capacitor limit and not recommended for continuous use. But here in the hydroelectric scenario, the 440 volt DC is on open, meaning as soon as you will charge your battery, the voltage will drop. Usually at 400 watts, I'm getting 200 volt DC. So now that I showed you how it works, I want to explain why I chose a SMPS instead of a solar charge controller. Basically, a charge controller taking up to 400 volt DC costs a lot. I tried with my hybrid inverter, but it wouldn't even charge. So now you might ask yourself why not rewiring the stator to have a smaller voltage. It can work, but in my setup, the generator is at 300 meters from my battery. So the higher the voltage, the less power loss I get. And the price of the SMPS is very low. I bought mine 48 volt SMPS for 30 euros. Now let's talk about the different hydro generator type. I've used overboard motor, AliExpress hydro generator, and this kind of cheap generator you can find on eBay or AliExpress. I had issue with all of them, such as low voltage output, so the electricity can't be transported to a long distance without big loss, or even burning the generator itself. Most of the generator you can find online are closed generator having no airflow, so when it is running constantly, it just accumulates heat and finish by burning. After all the mistake I made, I can recommend you washing machine motors. But be careful, don't buy a normal induction motor. It has to be a brushless or we call them inverter type motor, such as this one. The only challenge if you are buying the rotor and stator is to align the rotor and add bearings. The tolerance is very small. If the rotor touches the stator, it will end badly. I tried different models of bearing order to align the rotor to the stator. I can give you the model I used in different generator I sold. You can 3D print them or cast them in aluminium. If you want an easier way, you can buy a used washing machine and just add a Pelton or a Tiongo wheel. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.